Owens is out for the for the tournament. What? What do you mean? He's out. We were just with him. I just talked to him and he uh, he's done. He's, he's out. He's out for the tournament. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to have to look at the tape. That's all we can do. We got plenty of it. You kidding me? There are 365 days in a year. For 363 of those days, the community of South Boston prepares for what they call the most exciting weekend of their lives. That weekend represents the annual Southie three-on-three street hockey tournament held in South Boston, Massachusetts at the end of every summer. The 16-team two-game elimination tournament is in a class of its own. Some of New England's best hockey players have laced up their rollerblades for this grueling weekend of hockey that can't be matched anywhere else in the world. There's blood, sweat, and for 15 teams and 75 players each year, tears. For the past 13 years, South Boston's own Danny Picard has been a part of that group of 75. The wounds have been vicious, the battle has been exhausting, and the pain of losing has caused permanent scars, both physically and emotionally. For the 363 days leading up to each tournament, the only thing that weighs on Danny's mind is winning the selfie three-on-three. Every year presents a new challenge, every tournament brings renewed hope, and 2012 is no different. If you want something bad enough, you must fight for it. In the next half hour, you'll see exactly what that fight entails. This is 363, the road to the Southie three on three. Been playing this game for a while now. Honestly, not sure how much I got left in the tank, but um, Tournament's coming up in a couple weeks. All I know is I got this year, and uh, it's really all I care about right now. While the Southie three-on-three is constantly on Danny's mind, there are other things that he must get done before his daily tournament preparation begins. Danny is a Boston sports writer. On the side, he broadcasts a daily, hour-long sports talk webcast. It's a show that he's hosted for the last five years. And while he doesn't yet have a contract with a major sports talk radio station, he hopes to one day make it to the top. Right now, he's fighting. And when he signs off every morning at 10 a.m., his mind turns to another battle that he hopes to one day win. The Southie three-on-three. You haven't had your rotation. Don't get me wrong. This show right here, this is vitally important to me. I want this. You know, I want this like you can't even possibly imagine. But right now, there is something that's a little bit more important to me. And it's this tournament coming up. I live for this. Boston. It's a place that pretty much 
defines our neighborhood, our community, who we are, and it's beautiful out here. Sometimes I think we take it for granted, but it's a special place we can go, get your thoughts in order, get away from the world for a few minutes. That's what I'm doing today. In just a few days, Danny, along with 79 other die-hard street hockey players, will occupy another place where they go to get away from the world. Farragut Park, home of the Southie 3-on-3. Three -three. Ice hockey rinks are oval-shaped. Farragut Park is a rectangle. Some call it a rectangle of hell, enclosed with wooden boards and a 14-foot tall chain-link fence. After his jog, Danny continues his preparation for the big weekend, where he has a special visitor to give him some assistance. Heading down the park to you know, feed picks some one-timers. I mean, before I made it to the NHL, he, he was the guy who was you know, out helping me, you know, passing me pucks and uh, help me to get where I am. So just going to try to return the favor a little bit. I mean, the, the guy's vision on the court, is, it's, it's, it's legendary. It's, I mean, you can't find anything out there like it. We just, uh, you know, just got to get him to pull the trigger a little bit and uh, be a little selfish and, and, and shoot the puck and score some goals. Keith Yandel, two-time NHL All-Star, knows a thing or two about big games. He's led the Phoenix Coyotes to three straight postseason appearances and helped them advance to the Western Conference Finals last season. But even he knows, street hockey down Farragut Park is something you have to see to believe. In this court right here, this is where you find the best. It's the, it's, it's the Rucker Park of uh, street hockey. Here. Legends are made here. I've seen some of the best street hockey, you know, some of the best players in the world playing here. When you skate through this gate, you know you're going to be in a battle. This game seven and Stanley Cup playoffs on the road, hostile environments, nothing compares to this. I just want to see him win it. Uh, from what I hear, he has a good chance of doing it this year. But you know, I just keep telling him his his unselfishness is uh, it, it might hurt them. We, you know, I think for his team to win it, they need him to be uh, a little more selfish. For example, I come down here to feed the guy one timers, and he's passing it back to me. You gonna shoot? It's not my game. I'm not the one trying to get some shots in. It's him. It's just the way he is. He'll pass it back. He's just too unselfish. While unselfishness may be an accidental flaw, Danny's hard work is not. Squeeze in a quick workout before we head back down the courts, get a game in. Gotta keep the workouts going strong to win this tournament. You can never put in too much work, you know, I, I can see that in Danny, he's in here, he's, he's really busting his hump all the time. Seems like he never gets tired, he's always, he's just, he just doesn't stop. He's definitely, 
you know, hands down, without a doubt, the hottest working street hockey player I've ever seen. Fighting is not usually allowed in the selfie three-on-three. -three. But as everybody knows, scrums do often occur, and it can never hurt to be well prepared. A lot of people will take liberties down there. You know, it's salty. People down there, they get chippy, and you know, Danny's got to be ready. You know, he's got to be ready to defend himself and defend his team. I'm uh, not much of a fighter, but this tournament, you never know, you gotta be ready at all times. Preparation doesn't come with just practice and working out. It also comes with playing the game. Danny's friends are getting together for an afternoon skate down Farragut Park, where they continue to get ready for the Southie three-on-three. But first, some minor repairs have to be done. The toughest part of this tournament is maintaining some pretty good wheels, and when you play out here, especially hot days like this, they get worn down pretty quickly. It's actually the biggest pain in the ass of this whole thing is maintaining some pretty good wheels in your skates. And right now, my wheels, they're not very good, but they're, they're tough to come by, that's for sure. Fortunately, Farragut Park gets a visit from someone who might be able to help them out. Hey, oh shit, here's the ice cream truck. Oh, all right, let's go, let's get some. The ice cream truck. Only the driver isn't selling frozen treats. Oh my god, what do you need? Well, these things are pretty worn down, so. Ugly I mean, orange, too. Yeah, they are. Listen, I got red wheels, green wheels, purple, whatever you need, black, blue. Okay. Check these out. What are these? Hey, guys, come here. Wiffle bats. He's got everything. Hockey sticks. Look at this. Got these from Brian Noonan. It's a Freddie Ahern special right there. Look at that. What else you got for wheels? Pretty good chip. Hold on, let's talk about we got wiffle balls. Let's, yeah, but we need wheels. All right, let's see. Red. Who likes the red? I'll Anybody? take a red. red. It's not the color, though. It's, it's not really the color Green? that we, we care about. I know. About. Listen, times are tough right now. All right, so all I got. What do you got? It's all, it's all about... These are pretty worn down. What happened? These are worn down. Listen, I got these from these Dorchester guys. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Right, they, keep, they keep stiffing me though, this is what they give me. You want them? You got a big tournament? Or if they're cheap. It's up to you guys. I, I mean, we need them. There's no other stores, you know, Beantown Athletics. Take them or leave them. That's yeah. all I got. They don't have them. This might be my last one, you know? Can't go down with a... The hamstring injury. The game won. To make the teams fair, it comes time to throw sticks, which is an age-old tradition in the street hockey world. Those on Danny's team are pleased but they also know what's in store. Oh, I love it, it's great. Uh, it's just a little too intense, especially on a day like today. It's 100 degrees out. It's not even the tournament yet. I'll be right there. You kidding me? Let's go. Yeah, Pitt called me down here just to drop the puck, uh, some face-offs. Uh, 
I don't get paid or anything. I just come down here, enjoy the afternoon. Hopefully there's no no uh, garbage during the day. You may get some good calls. Good glory. You may get some good calls. Keep it up. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Keep the sticks down, huh? You know, I'm not. I'm not the only one. I don't know why it's a hack. Huh? It's a hack. Dan, is that two assists for you? Couple of assists, yeah. Am I hacking? Am I hacking? Am I hacking? Oh yeah. yeah. Keep this down. With who? With what? You can't even pinpoint a situation which I was hacking. On there. All I'm saying is watch out for them too if you're gonna yell at me. Yeah, what if I check you? Just keep your stick down and I'll tell them too. Alright. Right. Ah fuck! Hey, watch that stick, McKenna. Watch that fucking stick. Swing a stick. You see him? Uh, Crazy. Saw you low. Move your stick down for him. He's the one hacking me first. Yeah, I know. Um, Danny's out here planning strategies, teamwork. I mean, it's a little early for that, but I guess that's what uh, it's Danny Picard for you. He always wants to win, always wants to plan. I know it's like a buck ten out here, but when I was cutting over the middle at that one point, early in the second, it kind of looked me off. It's kind of crazy. Right? I, I don't want to lose here today, right? You guys on board with that? Oh, what did he say? All right. All right, let's go. Finish that, Tony. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking lucky pass out front, though. While the games do get chippy, Danny's plan isn't to get ejected from an exhibition skate. What are you looking at? Huh? All right, that's enough. Fuck you. I enough for you. Go in the box. Come on, man. You see what he did to me before that? You serious? You don't fucking call me all game. You come down here. We just asked you to drop the, drop the balls. I did. Blow the whistle. Hey, you're supposed to be slashing people. You slash me first. You gotta get someone hurt. I don't really have a penalty, do I? Get out of here. Are you kidding me? No, dead serious. Three on two. One fucking, minute. You don't give anyone a penalty down here, ever. He fucking hacked me first. You just talked the stick out of his head. Nah, you're a fucking joke. Hit the showers. See you Come later. On. You're done. Come on. I'm not listening to you. Are you serious? Yeah, dead serious. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Go home. Go home, no, we, we don't even need you. Get the show. We don't even need you. Yes. Fuck that. You know what? You should sell your equipment too. Yeah, you're I off fucking it. will. And I'll buy you a new ref jersey. It smells like shit. Following their afternoon battle, it's time to refuel. And no place to do that other than Sullivan's. Or as locals call it, Sully's. During the meal, a challenge gets thrown their way. Nine o'clock? Play at nine? Absolutely. All right, yeah, nine o'clock. Yeah, I'll call. All right, see you down. Bye. Not surprisingly, Danny accepts. But after being ejected from his normal afternoon game, he makes up for lost time by lacing them up once again. Danny decides to throw a wrench into his everyday summer training and take it indoors, to the ice. But first, he has to make a pit stop for a few repairs. All right, good to see you. Good to see you too. How's training going? Ah, uh, you know, it's going. Selfie three it's on three? Going. You know it. It's coming up. Except for the skates, bro. Just, uh, it's a little hot out there today. We're gonna mm. go inside in the okay. rink. So you shopping? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Come All right. On. Everything good, man? Yeah, maybe uh, a little higher radius. Higher, higher radius. Yeah, higher radius. Higher radius? Yeah, higher radius. I'll give you higher All radius. Right. Take time. Uh, I'm mean, going to cheat myself out of it. Well, it's tough, right? Yeah. A little higher than that. Higher than that. Higher than that, yeah, yeah. yeah i gotta, I got to go on a few minutes, too, so. Dude, there you go. You want to do it? Yeah. It's all yours. Yeah, I'll do it. You know what? I'll, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll get it. You want, you want, want it. right? Yeah, I got it.
Danny takes a ride up to Canton, Massachusetts, a 20 minute drive to get out of the sun. Two run outside. Gotta go in the ring. It's there where he meets up with a friend. Brian Yandel is a former UNH captain and is the older brother of Keith Yandel. He runs a year-round hockey camp. And as usual, Danny is always welcome to jump on the ice. Danny comes down every summer and works the camps. But this summer, as we get deeper and deeper into it, he's just getting really more engaged. Ready? No, no. Let's do this. First, it's face-off. You gotta split her up. You gotta sacrifice your body in this tournament, get in front of some shots. Here we go. On the way home from practice, Danny sees a younger group of Southie kids running their own street hockey tournament. He decides to check it out. But, of course, anyone who plays in the Southie three-on-three is a well-known commodity in the neighborhood. It's another day signing autographs to the kids. You know? When Danny returns home from a hectic day of street hockey fame, all of that extra work on the ice comes with some rest, and their idea of rest is still hockey related. Unfortunately, the days leading up to the Southie three on three are not all fun and games. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I gotta talk to you guys for a second. Are you serious? It's, it's better be important. Honestly, got money on this. Owens is out for the for the tournament. What? What do you mean? He's out. We were just with him. I just talked to him and he, uh, he's done. He's out. He's out for the tournament. Why? Well, what's he, the reason? He didn't give me a reason. I um, he just he just kept saying he he just couldn't do it. I personally think you got cold feet and he's a little nervous. Cold feet? I knew that would happen. What? Cold feet? What? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What are we going to do? We're going to have to... have to look at the tape. That's all we can do. we got plenty of it. You're kidding me. Each team has five players, four skaters and one goalie. With their fourth skater dropping out at the last minute, a good captain does all he can do to find the best fit. Well, I'm on the That's a terrible move. Who, uh, who is that? I don't know. Who is that? Fuck, oh, he's a goon. 
Not afraid to go hard right. to the net too. Well, he didn't go hard right there, but right, you can get him to go hard in the tournament. Yeah. And he doesn't. I don't like how he's not passing. You see how he took it wide? Yeah, yeah. What he should have done is just if he was cutting the net hard, just give it up. Because that's how you're gonna score in this tournament, you know. What do you think of him? Uh, what do you mean? You don't like small. it? Small. We don't even have a small guy. Yeah, but uh, speed, he's speedy. <clears throat> That's a nice move. That's a nice move. Yeah. Keep an eye on him. Yeah. What is Miller wearing? Oh. What's he wearing? He's comfortable playing in a bathing suit. They won't go pat. They won't go in the corner with him. You know. We got a lot more footage where this came from, I'll tell you that. I got bills to pay and children who need clothes. With the night game approaching, their roster situation looks bleak. Until an unexpected volunteer offered his services. Vic, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, kid? What's going on, man? What's going on, dude? How you doing? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, uh... What's up? Rumor has it that you guys uh, lost your fourth player for uh, three on three. And rumor is true, unfortunately. We just watched some game film and couldn't find anyone. Uh, I, what's gonna I mean, you can find me. I'm ready to play. I'd love to play on your team. You want to play in the tournament? Yeah, I heard you guys are the team to beat and everything, so uh, I'd love to get on that. You shit me. No, let's do this. Yeah, buddy. absolutely, man. Team. You got you have your stuff? We have a night game tonight. Yeah, I got my uh, blades in the car. I just need some new wheels. Is that, uh, is yeah, that work? Tony, we got wheels? Yep. All right. Hey, go All ahead. Right, well, yeah, bring it on. My wheels. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. Right? Let's give it a shot. There was just one problem. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, Tony, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you again, bro. Yeah. Playing, uh, you playing with us? Yeah, I'm uh, playing uh, tonight with you guys. Just, uh, just need some new wheels. New, new wheels, huh? I've been wearing a lot this spring, so. Wow, man. Hey, good. Good. Jim, Jim. Hello? Are those your old ones? Yeah, this is mine. Just, uh, I just need some new wheels right there. You're going to play with those in the tournament? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They have a stopper. Uh, yeah, I was expecting a stop. Ah, uh, it didn't go as planned. Uh, looks like I'm not going to be able to play for Pick's team this year. I mean, he wasn't uh, too happy with my rollerblades. Got all excited. Jimmy came in. You know, NHL player wants to play in the tournament with us, great. Then he brings his skates in, and I don't know where the hell he got those things. A couple of years old, I think they're perfectly fine and capable of role players of playing in this tournament. I question my stopper. I can't believe Pick actually would question my stopper, but... I'm not, you're not even allowed to play in this tournament with a stopper. Last kid to play in this tournament with a stopper on his rollerblades got ran out of time. Like, how does he expect me to stop? Like, honestly, how did he expect me to be able to stop in this tournament? He can't play. We're just gonna have to go with three guys, basically three skaters and a goalie. You know, and we're just gonna have to battle with that. It is what it is. As they say in the Southie three-on-three, the show must go on. All right, night game. What do you say? Look at this fucking guy. Ha ha ha, look at him. Grabbing the stick. Already starting. Nice shot. Nice shot. Thank God we didn't invite the ref tonight. Threw me out earlier. Games under the lights have their advantages. For one, the temperature has dropped dramatically making the battle more enjoyable. But it also has its disadvantages. Just ask the goalies. Down there, fucking late at night, can't see shit. Balls flying left and right. Fucking people behind you, heckling you. Fuck them. Oh, I fucking can't see shit out there, dude. Balls flying, I can't see fucking anything.
finally open space, big dog. Huh? It's your feed. Fucking right. Ronnie? Nice game, bro. Fuck. Not even the tournament yet. Bleeding. With practice time running out and a roster spot unfilled, Danny still feels confident. At least, he does his best to keep his teammates' heads in the right place. Obviously, the last couple of years have been tough, but I think, uh, I think we got it. I think we got the formula yeah. to win this one. Oh, definitely. So, let's keep it up. Get your rest. Take your ice bath, whatever you need to do. Drink your Gatorade, though. Keep hydrated, you know what I mean? Took the team back to my parents' house, grill some burgers, some hot dogs, nice little dinner after the game. <laughs> you gotta refresh, refuel, do it all again tomorrow. And uh, yeah, good skate, good meal. It's a good day all around. After some food and a few drinks, Danny's team returns home. He, however, heads back down to Farragut Park. It's 11 o'clock at night on the East Coast. Most are asleep or getting ready to go to bed. Danny's critiquing his game, putting in the work that he feels couldn't get done with everyone else watching. One last skate in for the night. Everybody else went home, but I always come down for an extra one before the lights go out. Um, so it means the world to me, you know? So any extra practice I can get, come down here, take advantage. If you want something bad enough, you must fight for it. Regardless of the outcome of this year's Southie three on three, Danny has implied that this might be his final fight. It might be the last time he's able to escape from the real world and play a game that the entire neighborhood uses to describe their community. Hockey is the 11th commandment in South Boston. It begins with Arnie's army down the Murphy Memorial Rink. Careers end at different times, on different stages. And as each player gets older, each tournament has more meaning. For Danny, his career is coming to a close. And with no championships to show for, this year's Southie 3-on-3 three three is perhaps the most meaningful tournament of his career. Some say it's just a game. But during the summer in South Boston, street hockey is a way of life. It brings different groups from the same community together, where, inside that 14-foot chain-link fence, all differences from the street are put aside. And the only battle being fought is for a championship. You can tell them that, sometimes, they may take it a little too seriously. You can even tell them that they'll never go pro. But don't ever tell anyone in South Boston that street hockey is only a game.
Game Pump! Game Pump!